What's up guys, it's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and today I've got another free agency idea. So with the departure of now former Chiefs cornerback Bashad Breeland, the Chiefs are now down a starting cornerback from last year's team. Now I'm not going to sit here and act like losing Bashad Breeland is a drastic move that you know, changes the outlook, the entire outlook of the 2021 season for the Chiefs or anything. You know, the Chiefs Super Bowl hopes didn't lie on whether or not Bashad Breeland was going to come back or not. That being said, Bashad Breeland was a good player, so this is still a loss. It does sting a little bit. And uh, I do think now the Chiefs need to go and still add a veteran cornerback. Uh, before Bashad Breeland came off the market, he was the best possible option given his familiarity. He had been here the past couple years, gave you steady play at the cornerback position. It was maybe a little more grabby than some fans liked. Okay, but you know he was still a serviceable player on a cheap deal. But the Chiefs cornerback room is looking a little thin now because now you got Legereus Need, Charvarius Ward, DeAndre Baker, Mike Hughes, and Bo Peet Keys, Rashad Fenton. Depending on who you ask, some fans may say they're okay with that group. Other fans, like me, not so satisfied. And that's because, yeah, that group is deep maybe with potential and talent, but it also has a lot of bust potential. There's also a chance that a lot of those guys bottom out or are never on the field. You know, Mike Hughes is a guy who, when the Chiefs traded for him, you know, has a really big injury history, really extensive injury history. We don't even know if he's going to play. DeAndre Baker, not that far removed from snapping his leg in half. Charvarius Ward, up and down in 2020. Or, yeah, 2020, excuse me. So, like, you know, there's a lot of question marks with that group, too. Like, Bashad Breeland was that one solid veteran guy that you knew what he was, that you could have in that group and give you depth. Uh, and Legereus Need, like I've said before, you know, he got hurt last year. If he goes down again, uh, if something were to happen to him, well, this group is looking pretty rough. That's why having a Bashad Breeland type of player is important. But, luckily, there are still a handful of free agents out on the market. Now, uh... And cornerback is a group in free agency that, like I said, still has good players out in the market. Cornerback, the Chiefs can go and find a good cornerback in free agency right now. And some of the names like Steven Nelson, uh, Brian Poole, you know, guys like that, uh, those are mainly slot guys. You know, you already got Rashad Fenton, you already have Mike Hughes, uh, Traverius Ward can play in the slot a bit, little bit, LeJerry Sneed can play in the slot a little bit. But how many of those guys on roster now can give you quality play on the outside like Bashad Breeland could. That's why free agent cornerback Richard Sherman, I think, would be an interesting idea. Now, most Chiefs fans are probably going to say in the comments right now, I'm sure they're already typing, Richard Sherman isn't a scheme fit. Richard Sherman isn't good anymore. Pretty much basing that off the Super Bowl LIV performance that he had, which, look, I yeah, that was a rough game, but... The Chiefs are a good team, you know, that's that's a tough matchup for a guy like him. However, yes, Rich Sherman has played most of his career, you know, cover two, not really something the Chiefs do a lot, a lot of man-to-man, -man. but he's someone that you can put in man-to-man -man and stick on another team's bigger, better receiver, and he, actually, he can actually do well. Yes, he's getting up there in age a little bit. Yes, he's not the same athlete he was maybe four or five years ago, but he's a very smart player. And his intelligence on the field has made up for a lot of his declining athleticism because he's just he's got very sound technique. He's just, like I said, a smart player. Uh, and that would be a positive change from someone like Bashad Breeland, who committed a lot of penalties. Richard Sherman, he's a guy that can stick with some of the better receivers in man coverage. He can go up and press and he can do well, all that good stuff. He doesn't play a lot of zone. However, like I said, he's a smart player. So, you know, I would trust him a little bit to adapt to maybe some different uh, looks in Steve Spagnuolo's scheme. And you could also put Richard Sherman in that robber role, which would also be uh, a better fit for him instead of asking him to play zone a lot. That's, you know, one area where the Bashad Breeland loss hurts. Bashad Breeland uh, can play a lot of zone. Richard Sherman, not really his thing, but he's someone that can just be that reliable outside corner, a veteran that you know what he gives you. And just gives you depth. And he's also, like I said, you know, a smart player. Once again, he's a smart player. And he also has that experience. You know, this guy is probably a future Hall of Famer. And he can help mentor the young guys. You know, that never hurts having that around. Yes, Richard Sherman, like I said, he's declining a little bit. So 
there's some matchups he could have some trouble, but you could say that for most every other corner on the Chiefs roster already, but Richard Sherman is just another guy that you can throw at teams and see how he does. A few questions that would need answers regarding whether or not the Chiefs should sign Richard Sherman, though, is one, how much money is he looking for? Uh, That's probably one of the main reasons he's still out there right now. He might be too far apart on what teams want to sign him for and what he wants. And then secondly, how far is Richard Sherman away from really falling off that cliff? Because that's something that we've seen with a lot of veteran players before. You bring them in thinking, you know, this guy is a good, solid veteran. We can bring him in on a one or a two year deal and he can do some good for us. And then you find out that he just totally fell off. Like he's not even good enough to be on the field anymore. I'm not sure how far away Richard Sherman was from that. And he didn't even have a great 2020 season either. Uh, And what I mean by that is he wasn't on the field a lot. You know, but he still was productive. He's been productive the past couple of years, which is why he's been able to get those deals from teams. You know, he's still been, you know, a good contributor the last few years, but it's just, when are we going to get to that point where he just hits that wall? We haven't heard too much about whether or not the Chiefs would even target Richard Sherman. Now, that was before Bashad Breeland came off the market, and I think there was always a chance the Chiefs still signed Bashad Breeland. So now that he's officially gone, maybe the Chiefs turn back to Richard Sherman and uh, maybe give him an offer. I'm not sure. Uh, We haven't heard much about them being interested, though. However, this would still be a fun, intriguing addition slash idea if it were to happen or if the Chiefs show interest. Uh, Like I said, he's someone that could be a fun stopgap, veteran stopgap for some of the younger players as they develop because this current Chiefs cornerback group, there's just we we know so little about them and they're so young and they all have question marks and Richard Sherman would just be a guy that like I said you know what he is you bring him in he can mentor those guys he can provide quality snaps at outside corner and you can just be comfortable with him I mean that's really what you're looking for at this point so that's just one of my ideas as of right now for what the Chiefs should do at the cornerback position uh one thing I've said before though is that Veteran cuts uh, after training camp is something that the Chiefs and Chiefs fans should keep an eye on because cornerback is a position group where good players always seem to get cut after training camp uh, that can latch on with other teams. And the Chiefs definitely might be a player in that market uh, where a cornerback, a good veteran cornerback, and I don't have any names off the top of my head, could get cut from another team and the Chiefs go and pick them up. So that'll be something to watch for. But for right now, Richard Sherman would be an intriguing idea and it would be really fun. It would be Richard Sherman's last chance to jump on with a good team and chase that ring and I think it would be really fun I think he would get along with someone like Tyron Matthew in that secondary I mean both of them really intelligent guys they could communicate to the defense and you know let everyone know where they should be and what to do I I think it would be really fun but I want to hear from you guys let me know do you think the Chiefs should sign Richard Sherman would you like the idea do you agree disagree with anything I said let me know in the comments but all that being said make sure you like share and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this and make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and kckingdom.com that's all I got for today peace